Welcome back to A Proverb A Day Keeps the Police Away. My name is Robert, and today we are reading Proverbs chapter 5. In recovery, one of the most important things that we learn is the power of boundaries. Protecting ourselves from situations and people, places, things that can pull us back into old patterns. This chapter is all about the wisdom of setting boundaries and staying on the right path. We'll read through it and then we're going to unpack how we can apply these principles in our recovery journey. So let's jump right in. Proverbs chapter 5. Dear friend, pay close attention to this. My wisdom. Listen closely to the way I see it. Then you'll acquire a taste for good sense. What I tell you will keep you out of trouble. The lips of a seductive woman are oh so sweet. Her soft words are oh so smooth. But it won't be long before she's gravel in your mouth, a pain in your gut, a wound in your heart. She's dancing down the perfumed path to death. She's headed straight for hell and taking you with her. She hasn't a clue about real life, about who she is or where she's going. So my friend, listen closely. Don't treat my words casually. Keep your distance from such a woman. Absolutely stay out of her neighborhood. You don't want to squander your wonderful life to waste your precious life among the hard-hearted. Why should you allow strangers to take advantage of you? Why be exploited by those who care nothing for you? You don't want to end your life full of regrets, nothing but sin and bones, saying, why didn't I do what they told me? Why did I reject a disciplined life? Why didn't I listen to my mentors or take my teachers seriously? My life is ruined. I haven't one blessed thing to show for my life. Do you know the saying, drink from your own rain barrel, draw water from your own spring-fed well? It's true. Otherwise, you may one day come home and find your barrel empty and your well polluted. Your spring is for you and you only, not to be passed around amongst strangers. Bless your fresh flowing fountain. Enjoy the wife that you married as a young man, lovely as an angel, beautiful as a rose. Don't ever quit taking delight in her body. Never take her love for granted. Why would you trade enduring intimacies for cheap thrills with a prostitute? For dalliance with a promiscuous stranger? Mark well that God doesn't miss a move that you make. He's aware of every step you take. The shadow of your sin will overtake you. You'll find yourself stumbling all over yourself in the dark. Death is the reward of an undisciplined life. Your foolish decisions trap you in a dead end. So, reflecting on this chapter, Proverbs 5 really hits hard on the theme of avoiding temptation and making smart choices. The verse, mark well that God doesn't miss a move you make, he's aware of every step you take, is a solid reminder that our choices, especially when we're in recovery, are being shaped by what we allow ourselves to be around. Surround yourself today with healthy influences and the chances of staying on track are much higher. It's all about setting those boundaries to protect yourself from slipping back into old habits. The thought for the day, are you setting yourself up for success by creating boundaries or are you flirting with danger? It's easy to slip when you're not paying attention to what's influencing your choices. The quote of the day is, The first step in solving a problem is recognizing there is one. Will McAvoy from the newsroom. It's about recognizing the little traps that we can fall into and then stopping them before they pull us off the path. Picture this. You're on a diet, you're walking past a bakery, and you smell the smell of fresh bread. Ooh, that's a good smell. You think, I'll just take a look. And next thing you know, you're inside, and you're holding a dozen donuts. 
Proverbs 5 is kind of like that friend who warns you, don't even go near the bakery. Sometimes we have to remove ourselves from situations where we are bound to fall, even if it's just window shopping. So what's something in your life right now that feels like a temptation that you need to avoid? How do you create boundaries to protect yourself from falling into those traps? So that's it for today's Proverbs, friends. Thanks for tuning in to another Proverb a Day Keeps the Police Away. If something from today's chapter hit home, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, drop your thoughts in the comments. I always love to hear your take on things. Join me tomorrow, though, as we tackle the next chapter. Until then.